an individual that cannot maintain their balance and that has a progressive loss of strength and energy may be suffering from cervical myelopathy. This is a condition that is frequently associated with long delays in diagnosis. It is a common degenerative condition in which bone and disc material compress the cervical spinal cord. It is characterized by clumsiness of the hands and gait disturbances and imbalance. It tends to be slowly progressive over the course of several months or years, and it rarely improves with non-operative treatment. Gait changes are the most important clinical predictor of long-term outcome. Cervical myelopathy is produced by disc and or bone material compressing the cervical spinal cord. With a typical cervical disc herniation, a piece of disc is broken off and it pinches a single nerve or nerve root causing pain down the upper extremity. You can have numbness, tingling, and burning along that nerve root distribution, and you can experience weakness in the muscles supplied by that nerve. With myelopathy, there is compression with either disc and or bone of the entire cervical cord. This leads to quadriparesis or a generalized weakness in the body. If one or two levels are involved, the surgery is typically done from the front. The disc and bone that is impinging upon the cervical cord is removed. If an entire bone is removed with the disc above and below it, that is known as a corpectomy. To keep the spine from collapsing, the empty space after a corpectomy is filled with a cage. The cage supports the spine and is filled with bone, and that results in a cervical fusion. This is an MRI as an example of an individual who does not have compression. This is an MRI of an individual with cervical compression. And another MRI demonstrating disc material impinging upon the cervical spine. If more than two levels are involved, then the surgery is going to be done from behind or posterior. Typically, the bone in the back of the spine from C3 through C7 is removed. This is known as a laminectomy. The laminectomy is necessary to remove the bone and impingement upon the cervical spinal cord. A laminectomy as you can imagine, weakens the cervical spine. And in order to keep the patient from falling into kyphosis or chin on chest deformity, a fusion is usually done at the same time as a laminectomy. To make sure that the fusion occurs with the neck in the appropriate position, rods and screws are used to maintain the neck in the appropriate position. This is an example of an individual who has had a posterior cervical decompression infusion, C3 through C7. I hope you found it informative. If you have any other questions, write to me at drsmithelpasospinecenter.com. Tell your friends and neighbors to watch. Share the video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again, and thanks for watching.